Hey, gang! Hello! Hi! Are you ready to try whiskey at full strength? Yo, no! Because <laughs> that is what we are doing for this episode of Loose Cannon, Nick Uncaged. My name is Brian Lee. To my left is... Brian Brian! To my right... It's really... Yeah, as I said in the intro, uh, we are drinking whiskeys at uh, full proof or cask strength. Yes. Uh, so these are... Whiskies that are supposed all the to, horsepower. Yes, all the, uh, if you just do a, a quick Google, uh, cast strength, also known as barrel proof slash barrel strength, is a term used by whiskey, also, uh, whatever, okay, uh, producers to describe a whiskey that has not been substantially diluted after storage in a cask for, uh, maturation. Maturation? Yeah, sure. Yeah, maturation. That's right. So these are three very Strong whiskeys. Uh, first, we have uh, Elijah Craig, Barrel Proof. Uh, after that is uh, Wild Turkey, Rare Breed, and then uh, 1792. Uh, thank you, 1792, <laughs> Full Proof. Uh, have either of you had any of these whiskeys? No. I have not. Very good. Very and then, very good. for people who have not seen one of our blind taste tests before, um, we have three different whiskeys. Um, and basically, we have three glasses in front of us, uh, but they have been shuffled, so we don't know which whiskey is which. So we're basically just going to rank them from best to worst, and then it's not until after we've ranked them that we'll find out which one is which. Yeah. Why did he get big? Like... How is I he think a thing? I think it's his range. You think so? I think it's his Actually, range. Actually, I take that back because I did. Yeah. <laughs> I, went, I went deep down the YouTube wormhole, yeah. and I watched him do the national anthem at, like, the Dude, I'm something telling, all-star I, yeah, game. Yeah. And the rocket's in the air, the monster's in the air. Oh, baby, baby, yeah, you you on me. What a dumb song. Okay, uh, letter... Hey. Get the boat in. <laughs> hey. Number A. Smells strong. Oh. <laughs> yes, Cher? Ooh. That's not Cher. That's a, that's a big owl. It's hoot. It's my Cher. It's could... harder to pick up yep. nose notes yeah. when it's cold outside. Well, get, and when it's higher alcohol percentage. I think it's, yeah, I, I, get a, I smell a <sighs> lot of alcohol. Remember to smell with your mouth open. I don't know. I'm not really getting anything. I'm getting something. I can't tell if it's like wood or leather. But I say it's, it's woody. I don't know what kind of wood, though, but any, if anything, it's woody. Oak or cedar, perhaps? More oak, because it doesn't smell like cedar. I'm not sure. I feel like I'm getting some sort of berry. <laughs> oh, we should have got something for, uh, you know what I mean? Like crackers? Mm. Oh, I got pretzels. <laughs> Sorry. You didn't see good. Burt Caramel? Yes. That is so strong. It really is very <laughs> it's, strong. It's Cramron, you fucking raped this I, bag, I, dude. I said, I, yeah. Here, take this. Be careful. <laughs> what movie was that? Uh, yeah, Valley be Girl? Well, they open the chips like a bunch yes. of assholes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah burnt caramel. Um, oh, so yeah, I didn't finish the thought. Um, it's super strong, and it's so strong that it's hard to like keep yeah. it in your mouth. Yeah, because it burns. It burns yeah. burning burnt right away. Burnt cola. Yeah, like a burnt cola. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I get it a lot. It's very alcoholy. So would you, very alcoholy. You're saying caramel and cola. Burnt so caramel, would cola. you say there's like some sweetness to it? Not really. Mm -mm. I'm not getting it. Right. If anything, it's like a woody note that's um, burnt. Maybe oak. Charred, charred barrel. Exactly. Oh, but that's fuck. that's where I get charred barrel. I don't get so strong. Yeah, I don't. There's nothing um, with that. Once again, going to the Woodford Reserve flavor wheel. Uh, tobacco leaf is actually pretty <laughs> that. a good description. Yeah, that's a good description. Definitely. That's yeah. I like that a lot. Are you smelling Bina? <sighs> yeah. Okay, want to be. This, this seems less burning. Oh, well, it physically, uh, okay, very interesting. It stings less than A, but there's still definitely an alcohol smell that reminds me of Nintendo Game Cleaner. <laughs> so, 
Basically, what I'm saying is there's alcohol, but it's things less than A. I agree. Lighter. It has more flavor. Okay, I'm becoming that guy, and I don't like it. Do you guys get blueberries? The skin of a red apple. Um, I, I ate this apple in 1989, <laughs> and one of the seeds had this unique aroma. Any kind of liquid kills the bite. I, I, I understand what you're saying. It's Whoa. that sweetness that it has. <sighs> With the red, with the apple. I'm not a high brew fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get like a little taste of something like, oh, what's that? And then I'm just like, ah, do burn. It burns. It does it on purpose. It knows you want to taste it. It's like apple or cherry. Mm. It is like a dark fruit, not blueberry. That sweetness gives it or something. Yeah, a fruit Ooh. flavor. Ooh, real, real long finish. My tongue, <laughs> my tongue is numb. Well, I'd say like a like um. Dates. I'm getting dates. I, I like the second one better. I think I do too. Mm -hmm. And not the fact that it's less alcoholic because it's mm -hmm. pretty. It's pretty alcoholic, mm -hmm. but you get more flavors from it. So B. Yeah, B than A. That's how I, I see it in my brains. Okay. Yeah, I agree. B is definitely like I can't put my finger on it, but yeah, it's like a there's baked something. Something. Yeah. 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 But like especially like when I. Let it rest in my mouth. Like, yeah. There's like more there. Like, oh god! You need to sell that. <laughs> like once the uh, the burning goes away, mm -hmm. it leaves like a little bit of flavor to kind of deal with the C one. Ooh, ooh! Like strawberry bubblegum yeah. or something. Oh, that fucking smells amazing. Yeah, there's ooh, yeah, there's like a fuck. there's like a like a really strong sweetness, but like you you could tell the burning's there, but there's something in it. That's fucking yeah. wonderful. Yeah. That's Compared good. to the other two, it's like magic. That one's great. And there's a little bit of like herbiness to it. Oh, have you guys tasted it? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I'm trying to clear my palate here. It's mm -hmm. alcoholy. Well, these are all over 100 proof, so. Yeah, but I mean, like, oh my God. the smell. Is nothing really? like the taste. Not no, 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 nothing like the taste. Have you didn't try it yet? No, no. Oh, okay. Um, what you said about B, where it makes your tongue your tongue numb. A this, tiny bit this of this does it. A tiny bit makes it numb for but, me. But so tons hmm. of burn on this. Yeah, it still has a little bit They're, of that, like yeah. bubble gum. And it's it's funny because to me the burns at the beginning, and the <sighs> bubble gums at the end. This yes. one isn't as burny to me. Really, the, dude. B made my Tongue numb. Yeah, but this made my tongue numb. Yeah. C did that for yeah, me. Yeah, C did it to me. I'd say C is almost fruity. I was going to say grape jelly. Yeah. It's, I was going to say grape jelly. I love grape jelly. <laughs> uh, raspberry compote. I can make raspberry compote for you if you want. I know you can. <laughs> Damn right. USA, USA. <laughs> okay, USA. <laughs> okay, USA. I think I'm going to put that in first. C's first for me. CBA. That's how I do it. Definitely first or second for sure. Okay, let me try B again. Okay. For I know for sure I am not a high proof <laughs> whiskey person. I yeah, I would like to me like two of these and I'm like, okay, I'm good. If I was maybe twenty or nineteen again, this would have I would probably would have been dead. Yeah. I would have to water these down. If I was like drinking it for like mm. a night in. Oh yeah. I couldn't do these straight. No. Which one you do? Oh yeah. That was B. See, I like these, I wasn't ready. I didn't swish. I wasn't ready for I that. I almost primarily, well, not, I pretty much primarily drink whiskey neat. Yeah, same here lately. I like it with either a splash of water or one ice cube. One or two ice cubes, depending on what the ice cube two, is. I got two different big formed ice cube things. I got a big ball now and I got a big oh, nice. square. Wow, I'm more like, I got to take a second. Yeah. These are very strong. Yeah, like I want to retaste these, yeah. but it's like yeah, I, I tried. I, I tried to retaste. I was like, I can't do it right oh, yeah. now. Hmm. But, but I would say, from what I've had so far, BCA, no CBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Oh, so, yeah. I'm sorry, CBA, CBA. Yes, I feel like there just wasn't much to A. Yeah. A was straight up fire. Yeah, fire, and not like not fireball <laughs> exactly, or good, good straight up fire. I feel you can sip on this kind of stuff, foolproof. And you can also sip on something that's not as strong. It doesn't matter the proof of it, but it has to have a good flavor. Yeah. 
especially going back to B. Yeah, it makes me appreciate C even more. Yeah, huh. that, I was, yeah, same, same, same. And A is just pretty much like, why are you here? Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> Hey, come on, guy. Um, I'm going to try A again here. I don't know if it's like a chemical or the, there's like something about it. I'm holding A, by the way. Yeah, yeah. A, um, a, well, yeah. yeah, there's just like... I mean, you, for me, you can tell. I mean, you can't see it, but like A, there's way more left in my glass than the other two. Yeah. At least... So I just re-smelled all of them? Yeah. Definitely CBA. For okay. sure. Yeah. I'm going to do a smell. If I need to do a taste, yeah, I will, A's but. just... Something there. It's just like wow. You get something out of C that just it that smell is nice. It's nice. So yeah, C yeah. C smells the best. Yeah, it mm-hmm. does. Hands fucking down. Mm-hmm. B's close, but it has something that's too chemically. Or maybe I don't know if that's the right word. There's something something in B that is close to C, but kind of takes it out of the running of being number one for smelling wise. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with CBA. Mm-hmm. Ugh. I agree. Do you want to read yep. them off? I'll read them. Oh. We have again 1792 full proof, wild turkey rare breed barrel proof, Elijah Craig barrel proof. I have no information. Mm-hmm. It is just pure gut instinct. I think 1792 might be C. I think C is uh, Wild Turkey. I think uh, B is Elijah Craig. And I, I think, think Elijah a, Craig's going to be C. All right. Oh, all right. You think so? Yeah, so yeah. We all think, yeah. yeah. So I think, yeah. I think Elijah Craig's going to be first. All okay. right. We will check Elijah Craig first. Sure. Again, Elijah Craig Barrel Age, 1789. It is 132.8 proof, 60, 66.4 alcohol by volume. Oh. Batch C920. Yes, there are different batches. A. Oh. Okay. So, wow. That's the worst one. So the Elijah Craig is the last. So we got here. Okay. Uh, which, that doesn't surprise me. It's the highest. Yeah. Proof. Yeah. Well, that and I feel like because Wild Turkey is the other one, right? Yes. Yeah. I so, feel like when we've had that lately, we've all been like surprised by how right. good it is. Yeah. So okay. that kind of doesn't surprise me. Okay. So Wild Turkey Rare Breed Barrel Proof. 58.4% alcohol by volume. 116.8 proof. And this is B. Ah, really? B. So this is our number one. No, C. C's, C's number, number one. one. Yeah. You're right. I'm so glad you guys are here because I've been saying Anthony's number one. <laughs> wow. Full proof. 1792 Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. 62.5 alcohol by volume. 125 proof. C. So. Oh, wait, so is that the least, the, sm- the less proof? No, uh, uh, Rare Breed's the least proof. Okay. That was 116, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, so it didn't, it definitely didn't go like in order of proof or no, anything. No, 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 not at all. Well, there you have it. There it is. Nice. So if you guys want some full proof, <laughs> you know what to buy. 1792. So would you guys ever drink this straight? Like, would this be your go-to drink? Go-to? No, not my go-to. <sighs> Cause to me, this is just too, it's too much of a burn. I, the alcohol is too high. I love full proof whiskey. Oh, why? And you drink it straight. Yep. Oh, I enjoy it as well. I enjoy it either with some, like I said, with water, a little bit of water, because I believe it brings out more mm-hmm. of the smell, more of the notes, mm-hmm. or like one or two ice cubes. Um, but to say that. These would not be my go-tos because I enjoy to have maybe like two or three drinks in a night. <clears throat> yeah. And if I were to have this, it would be one of these yep. with a little bit of water. And that, but that would be it for the night, really. <laughs> All right. That'll do for this episode. <laughs> yes. Uh, and you. Good. Good journey. If you like Nick Cage and horrible, great movies from the Canon Group Films, then like, comment, and subscribe for Nick Uncaged Podcast.